Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Another beautiful, blessed day today to always, always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day just to give Him the thanks right now. Another day just to give Him the praise right now. Another day just to give Him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I know right now today that someone around the world, you're going through some things right now today. You're feeling down right now today. You're feeling upset right now today. Something to have you discouraged right now today. And if you're going through those things right now today, I want you to open up your mouth right now today and just give Jesus some praise right now. Give him some glory right now. Because I tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, once you open up your mouth and start giving Jesus the praise and worship, whatever it is that's bothering you, it's not going to bother you anymore. Whatever it is that's on your mind will soon go away. Whatever it is that's hindering you will remove itself from you because you can't have worry and, and worship at the same time. That's why I'm always speaking that praise is an everyday thing because every day is not going to be the same for us. But one thing I know about our Heavenly Father God, He is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He's still sitting on the right hand on the throne. He's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day in our life. He's still the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing, you need to give Jesus some praise right now today. You need to open up your mouth and give Him some glory right now today. You need to magnify and shout out His holy name for who He is, what He has done, and what He is doing right now today in your life give Jesus some praise right now praise is an everyday thing praise is something you should want to do praise should be a living habit in your life my brothers my sisters no matter what I'm going through no matter what I'm facing I'm always giving people I'm always going to give Jesus the praise and a lot of people I say well LT you're always happy because you got to be happy when you praise you can't be praising and being worried. You can't be praising and being and, and being upset. Those two don't mix. It don't even go together. So no matter what I go through, no matter what I'm dealing with, no matter what I'm facing, I'm always going to open my mouth and give Jesus the praise and the glory because he deserves it all for who he is and what he has done and what he is doing. Praise is necessary. It's praise in the morning, it's praise in the afternoon, it praise at night, and it's always praise in the midnight hour. I'm going to give Jesus the praise even if I got to do it by myself. Glory! Hallelujah! I'm in love with Jesus, and that's why I praise him the way that I do. Amen? Amen. My brothers, my sisters, it's such a blessing today to have y'all guys part of today's service today. Words can't even explain how thankful I am right now today. How grateful I am, how honored and blessed. Because y'all guys could have been doing anything else today. But you took your time out, out of your schedule right now today, to be part of today's service right now today. You took your time out to be part of Jesus' ministry right now today. And whenever you that you take your time out to put Jesus first place, automatically your day goes well. Automatically the rest of the week goes well. Automatically God started doing new things and started adding new things in your life. Because you are put him first. And whenever you put God first, God always have an intention to do things in your life. So if I'm thankful and if I'm grateful and honored and blessed, how much more do you think I have the Father God is? He is so thankful and honored and blessed because of your God's faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards his ministry right now that he is doing something new right now in your life. According to the word of God of Isaiah, Isaiah Chapter 43, verses 18 through 20, he says that he is doing something new. He is doing something new because you are faithful towards him. He is doing something new because you are obedient towards him. And if you believe, and if you really believe right now in your heart and your spirit that God is doing something new, say, I believe and I declare right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that something new is coming my way this year, this season, in 2019. My sisters, my brothers, every boy and girl around the world today, get ready because something new is heading your way. Amen? Amen. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Amen? Amen. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone out there in the world today? I mean, anyone right now today. And if you're really, really ready, 
to give your life to Christ right now today, I boldly ask of you right now today to please step out on faith and please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's going through some pain right now, going through some suffering right now, going through a lot of depression right now, dealing with anxieties right now today, you're dealing with setbacks right now today, and if you're going through those symptoms right now today, I boldly encourage you right now today to please step out on faith and please head to the altar. Because 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says that he cares for you. He cares for everything that you are going through. He cares for everything that you are dealing with. He cares for you that everything is keeping you down right now today. But you got to leave it right there at the altar, my brothers, my sisters. Because Jesus cares for you. He said, I'm willing to take on that problem right now today. He said, I'm willing to take on that project. I'm willing to take on what's hurting you right now today. Leave it to Jesus and let Jesus take care of that problem for you. Amen? Amen. Is there anyone out there in the world today who has lost their faith, their trust, and hope in God? But right now, something's telling that you need to go right back home. It's something telling that you need to seek the Master. It's something telling that you need to seek Jesus with all your might, heart, and soul today. And if that's you right now today, I boldly encourage you right now today to please head to the altar right now today and let Him know. Is there anyone out there in the world today that want to be used by God right now today? Please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been looking for a church home? And you've been looking, you've been looking, and you've been um, searching, and you've been searching. But yet you haven't found anything yet. But something is telling you about Jesus' ministry right here. Something's telling that you want to be part of this fast-growing ministry right now today. And if you do... All you got to do is hit Jesus' little red subscribe button right there. It's not my button. It's his button. It's not my ministry. It's, it's, it's his ministry. He just lent it to me. You want to be part of this ministry, I would love for y'all to be part of it because we're going to praise together. We're going to worship together. We're going to fellowship together. We're going to sing together. We're going to do everything together because we are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the reason I'm always talking about this is because every day, somewhere around the world, a lot of God kids procrastinate a lot. You always say you're going to do this. You always say you're going to do that. But when it get time to do something for Jesus, when Jesus asks you to do something, you make too many excuses. You always put them on the back shelf. You always put them on the back burner. And sometimes when we do this, you, nobody knows the time or the date when something's going to happen. And right now, a lot of us have went through this right now. A lot of us right now are going through some things right now. A lot of us right now are fighting for their life in a hospital right now today. But we are praying for them right now today for a speed of recovery. There's a lot of people right now today who don't have their chance, who don't have their opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone. My point is, my brothers and my sisters, if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your Lord and Savior Christ, today is the day that you need to open your mouth. Today is the day that you need to confess right now. Today is the day that you need to make this as your declaration right now today. And all you guys say is, Today is the day, Lord Jesus, that I boldly ask of you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there you are saved, you are born again, you are just accepted and received the Holy Spirit. I believe right now today that the angels right now are rejoicing right now today. I want to say congratulations to you today, my brothers, my sisters, every boy and girl around the world. So my brothers, my sisters, if you have not made that decision right now today, please do so right now today. Don't procrastinate last like a lot of people do because I don't want to see none of my brothers and my sisters in the hospital fighting for their life. I don't want to see nobody when the time is up and you ain't made that decision because when it's up, there's nothing you can do. So don't worry about who's looking at you. Don't worry about what people might think or say about you. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the naysayers. Make that bold decision right now today because there's a lot of lost souls out there in the world today. Why you think Jesus preached so much? outside of the temple because there were the lost souls. I'm not here to build a church. I'm here to help the lost souls. At one point in time, I was lost just like y'all until I made that confession until I opened my mouth. And ever since then, my life ain't been the same. It's been so blessed. It's been the presence of the Lord. So I'm telling my brothers, open up your mouth right now today. Amen. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, we about to have some church today. And a lot of people right now today don't even realize that you have a co-signer that's in your life. You got a co-signer right now today that's really, really, really ready to co-sign on anything that you ask for in his name. And some of you are ready to put your ex 
your mother, you ask your father, you ask everybody else, but you won't ask the main cosign. He said, you can ask anything in his name. He said, he'll do it. You got to know that you have a cosign. Today's word is, Jesus has already co-signed for you, but you got to open up your mouth. And what I mean by that, my brother, my sister, you got to know that he's already co-signed. Ask the man who's willing, will not change his mind. All you got to do is ask him one time, and he said he'll do it for you. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, just can't thank you enough for an ultimate and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for this word today. I cannot thank you for this message today. I can't thank you enough for all my brothers, all my sisters, every boy and girl around the world today. They just tune in. That's watching your ministry today. That's watching your channel today. That's part of today's service today. I can't thank you for the elder we was able to bring today. I just can't thank you enough for the food that you have blessed our table with today. The clothes shoes on our back. I can't think of for our help and our strength. I can't think of how you're moving mouths on our behalf right now today. I just can't think of for your grace and your mercy today on heaven, Father God. I can't think of for your love. I can't think of for our blessing, our breakthrough, our no not deliverance. I can't think of for our double portion. I can't think for more than enough that's heading our way. I can't think of for the new thing that's heading our way this year, this season, in the mighty name of Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship your holy name the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my faith, my trust, and my hope in you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name, glory, hallelujah, amen, amen. Jesus is your cosigner. Jesus will cosign on any and everything what you ask him to do. Some of you right now today don't realize that you have a cosigner in your life. Some of you don't realize that you have a cosigner that's ready on board right now today to cosign on anything that you ask him right now today. But some of you right now today you don't even realize the cosign that you have. You're ready to put, you're ready to ask man to co-sign for you. No man can change his mind at any given time. You're ready to ask man to co-sign for you, knowing that man can flip on you in a heartbeat. You're ready to ask a uh, man to co-sign for you, knowing, knowing that he can drop the ball at any given time. But what is a co-signer? A co-signer is a person who can help he or she when they can't do it on by itself. A cosigner is a person who will never change his mind. A cosigner is a person who will be glad to do it. A cosigner is a person, all you gotta do is ask one time, and this answer is yes. A cosigner is a person who loves you more than any and everything in this world right now today. And who is that cosigner I'm talking about? That cosigner I'm talking about his name is Jesus. And right now today, some of y'all ain't know what I was talking about now, did you? Some of you didn't realize that you have a cosigner right now in your life. All you do is open up your mouth and he is ready to cosign for you. But what are you going to do to believe in that cosigner today? Some of you right now today, you don't believe that you have a cosigner. Some of you right now today, you didn't even know not what I was talking about by being or having a cosigner. Now, did you? I know you did. Until God spoke to me this morning. He said, son, you ain't got to worry about anything no more. He said, all you got to do is sit back and relax. Already the cosign. And a lot of us right now today, we're worrying about the wrong thing. We're all uptight. We're worrying about is it ever going to happen. Is it ever going to come to pass. Then when Jesus spoke to me, and he spoke to me so clearly and vivid this morning, my sons and my brothers. He said, I'm talking to you, LT, especially. But I also want to let my, my other sons know and my other daughters know. Tell them to loosen up. They don't have to be uptight. They don't have to worry anymore. They don't have to focus, how to worry about how it's going to happen. They ain't got to figure out when it's going to come. Just let them know that I already co-signed it. Because when Jesus has co-signed his name on it, it don't matter how many people told you no. 
It don't matter how many people let you down. It don't matter how many people talk about you. It doesn't matter how many people say that's never going to happen. It doesn't It doesn't matter how many people walk through your life. As long as Jesus has co-signed his name on that, that's all that matter, my sister, my brother. It's done. It's sealed. It is finished. Jesus is your co-signer. Amen? Amen. And before, before he started anything in your life, my sister, my brothers, Jesus has already co-signed everything about you. Before he acted anything in his life, in your life, he already co-signed it. Numbers 24 19 says that. When you was in your mother's womb, when you was in your mother's womb, he knew everything about you because he co-signed it. Jeremiah 1 through 5. That perfect plan that he has laid out for you, he said he co-signed that. Jeremiah 29, verse 15. I mean verse 11. There's nothing too hard for Jesus. There's nothing he can't do. There's nothing too impossible for him. Jeremiah 32, 27. Does whoever put their hope in Jesus will never be disappointed. It don't matter who, or that, who you are. When you put your faith and your trust and hope in Jesus, there's no way that you'll be disappointed. Isaiah 49, 23. The moment you put your trust in him, the moment that you put your faith in him, the moment that you put your hope in him, the moment you trust in him at all times that you pour your heart out to him, each and every day as Psalm 62 verse 8, Jesus has already co-signed everything for you. So why are you panicking right now today? Why are you worried right now today? Why are you upset right now today? Why are you trying to figure it out right now today when Jesus is telling somebody right now today that he's already co-signed it? He said, it's done. It's final. It's finished. He said, I know how many people walked out of your life. He said, I know how many people don't want to, is not rooting for you. He said, I know that you're not getting the credit or the recognition that you deserve. He said, I know how many people told you no. He said, I know how many people held you up. He said, I know how many people turned you down. He said, but that doesn't matter. He said, as long as my name is on that piece of paper, as long as my name that I co-signed for you, my son, as long as my name that I co-signed for you, my daughter, it's done. All you have to do is continue to walk by faith and continue to trust me. I have already co-signed for you. Now, who I'm talking to right now today? Who I'm talking to right now today? Somebody need to get you some praise right now today. I don't know about you, but when I heard that this morning, all through work today, I've been praising him. And they said, LT, what is wrong? I said, if y'all only know that you have a co-signer. When I went to work, they're like, what are you talking about? I said, you don't know what, you, you don't know what I'm talking about? You have a co-signer. He's already co-signed everything for you. So, they say, after you got to break it down for me. So as I broke it down for my sisters, my brothers, automatically I started sending all my brothers and my sisters to start giving Jesus the praise this morning at work because they didn't even know that Jesus has already co-signed for them. They said, I ain't got to worry about it no more. It's done. They said, I didn't even know that, that Jesus has already co-signed. He said, he co-signed for it. He said, you can ask him for anything in his name. John 15, verses 1 through 7. He said that you can ask Anything in his name, and he said he'll do it. Out of Mac, they tell you that he's the co-signer right there. What are you asking Jesus to do right now today? What are you trusting for? What are you believing in? What do you have your hope in? He said, I'm a co-sign for you. Because he, he said, I know that you can't do it alone by yourself. He said, I know that you need help. And he said, I'm right here on board to help you. He said, I don't have no problem helping you because you are my child. I want to help you. I want to make sure that you succeed. I want to make sure that you are blessed. I want to make sure that you are fruitful. I want to see that you increase. I want to see that you live in prosperity. He said, I'm going to co-sign for you. He said, you don't got to worry about that. Jesus has already co-signed for the people who left mothers, brothers, sisters, jobs, fields, and kids for the sake of him. He said, here are the cosign for, the, for them, hundred, them hundred more houses that you left back home. He said, I got a hundred more houses I already co-signed. He said, I got a hundred more businesses that I already co-signed that has your name on it. He said, you didn't have an ask for it. He said, you didn't have to pray for it. But he said, I co-signed them. And they have your name on it because I put my name on the top of it and they are yours because you did something that the average person would not do. Matthew 19, verse 26, it says that anyone who leaves mother, father, brother, sisters, children, 
a house will fill for the sake of him will receive a hundred times more. And he said that he's already co-signed on a hundred times more. It's already there. Automatically, I don't preach for the rest of the day. I can just start preaching right now today and say, you know, this rest of the sermon is done because I already don't preach what Jesus told me to preach to you but right now today, but I ain't done. No, I ain't done. The Holy Spirit ain't ready for me to finish yet. Please turn your Bible to Numbers 24. And we're going to read verse 19. Numbers 24, and we're going to read verse 19. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen, let's begin. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and does not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? He's promising right now today. Look at the text for the saying. He's promising right now today that he co-signed. So he said, I got to fulfill that because you asked for it. He said, I got to do it. He said, does he speak? And does not act. Right now he's speaking. He's speaking through me to let you know that he's already co-signed for you. He said, I'm a man that never changed his mind. So when you ask him for something, in John 15, verse 5, verses 1 through 7, he said, ask for anything, and he'll do it. He said, I already don't co-sign for it. He said, I can't change my mind. I can't go back on my word. I cannot go back on my promise. I have to do it. Jesus said, I will never start anything in your life if I ain't co-signing. I wouldn't be acting the way that I'm acting in your life right now today if I already co-signed it. So whatever it is that Jesus has started in your life right now today, my brothers, my sisters, and he's still starting and he's still acting on it, he has already co-signed on it. The deal's already done. The endorsement deal's already done. The sponsor's already done. The business is already done. The house is already done. The ministry deals, it's already done. Whatever it is, it's already done. Because he said he's a man to not to lie or to change his mind. Point blank period. He will never change his mind. So you got to know who's your co-signer. This is the only co-signer I'm going to believe in. This is the only co-signer I got my trust in. This is the only co-signer I got my faith and hope in. Because what he's done for me, I know that he's already co-signed. And that's how he spoke to me so vivid this morning. He said, son, he said, look what I started in your life. I opened that door. You can't open that door on your own. But I opened that door for you to minister in my ministry. He said, I already co-signed. He said, I know a lot of people aren't going to believe in you. He said, I know a lot of people are going to give you the credit or recognition. He said, I know a lot of people are going to say no, but he said, but I'll co-sign for you. i co-sign for you. i put my name on the dotted line and say, take on my son. I called him to minister. I chose him to minister. And when he told me that, I said, good God Almighty, thank you, Jesus. He said, i co-sign for you. He said, even though that you don't see things happening yet, but he said, don't worry about it. He said, I got everything already lined up for you, son. I said, thank you, daddy. He said, everything is already done. He said, all you got to do is continue to minister in the ministry. All you have to do is continue to walk by faith and not by sight. All you got to do is continue to say, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I said, Jesus, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. He said, long as you keep doing that and doing your part by believing in me and trusting me. He said, everything is already done. He said, I, he said because I've been co-signed for you. And that was Jesus telling me to tell somebody right now today. He's already co-signed for you. It's done. It's finished. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who this word for right now today. But you have a co-sign and his name is Jesus. He's already co-signed on everything that you ask him for. So if you're not asking Jesus for anything, and if you want to ask Jesus something, ask him right now today. And he's telling you right now today, he's already co-signed. And he said he can never change his mind. He can never go back on his word. Because when you put your faith and trust and hope in him, he said, I got a cosign for that. He said, I got a cosign for that. I can't tell you a lie. I, I'm not going to lead you from here to here and don't cosign. I'm not going to open that door and don't cosign. I'm not going to act on anything in your life and don't cosign. He said, I have to do it. Even the ones who left everything back home to follow him, he said, I got a cosign for that. He got to do his part. All you got to do is do your part is continue to put your faith and trust in him. Everything that you ever asked, everything that you ever wish, everything that you ever want, it's already done. Because the word of God said, here, man, not to lie to change his mind. He can never do that. He said, does he not speak and don't act? He's speaking right now. And he acting because he said, I'm co-signing for you. He said, I co-sign. 
I co-signed for my son. I co-signed my daughter. You have a co-signer in your life. In his name of Jesus. Right now, every last one of my brothers, every last one of my sisters, I want y'all to give y'all biggest co-signer some praise right now. And let your co-signer know how much that you love him and that you appreciate everything and what he has co-signed on your life right now today. Thank you for the hundred houses that you co-sign for me right now. Thank you for the hundred businesses that you co-sign for me right now. Thank you for the hundred ministries that you co-sign for me right now today. This thank you for co-signing for me, Jesus. Well, you know I can't do it by myself. Well, you know I needed help. And all I have to do is ask you one time. You didn't even hesitate. You didn't even budge. And you automatically you put your name on a dotted line. And we want to say thank you right now today, Jesus. We want to say thank you right now today, Jesus. We want to say thank you right now today, Jesus, for co-signing for us. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with